The Western Hulok Gibbon, Hulok Hulok, is India's only ape, found in the dense forests of the northeast. As a member of the Hylobatidae family, the lesser apes, it is more closely related to humans than to monkeys. Gibbons lack tails and move with upright posture, adapted to a life spent entirely in the canopy. Their anatomy, especially their long arms, is made for brachiation, swinging swiftly from branch to branch. They rarely descend to the ground, where they're vulnerable. Their story is one of survival in the treetops, of a species we cannot afford to lose. Western Hulok gibbons are small and lightweight. Males have glossy black fur and white brows. Females are brown or beige with white markings around their eyes and mouth as if they are wearing a mask. They also have darker patches on their limbs and chest. These apes live in the canopy of evergreen forests in parts of northeast India, using their long forelimbs to swing between trees. Their arms often exceed their body length, allowing them to move at speeds up to 55 km per hour and leap 6 meters across tree gaps, without ever touching the ground. Socially, they live in tight-knit family groups, typically a monogamous pair with offspring. They are known for hauntingly beautiful duet calls at dawn, used to strengthen pair bonds and mark territory. Gibbons are among the few primates that mate for life. Their preferred habitat is an undisturbed canopy in evergreen, semi-evergreen, and moist deciduous forests. Their current range spans parts of northeast India, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Misaram, Tripura, as well as Bangladesh and western Myanmar. But their forest home is shrinking fast due to deforestation and development. Ecologically, their crucial seed disperses, especially for large fruiting trees. Their fruit-heavy diet supports forest regeneration. Without them, these forests lose biodiversity and resilience. No gibbons means no regeneration, and no forest. Despite their importance, Western Hulok gibbons are endangered, with a steep population decline. The causes, deforestation for agriculture, infrastructure, and logging, habitat fragmentation from roads, railways, dams, mining, and tea estates. Poaching and illegal wildlife trade further threaten their survival. Conservation efforts are underway. The Holongapa Gibbon Sanctuary in Assam is India's only sanctuary dedicated to gibbons. Named after the towering holong tree Diptrocarpus macrocarpus, the state tree of Assam, this forest offers critical refuge. But even this sanctuary is under pressure from logging, tea garden expansion, and human encroachment. A railway line cuts through Holongapa, splitting the forest and leaving a 50-meter canopy gap, too wide for gibbons to cross. Plans to electrify the track threaten further disruption. Scientists have called for solutions like rerouting the railway and building canopy bridges. Hi, so we are in the Hulog Gibbon Sanctuary. You can see a Hulog Gibbon moving there in the branches. And uh, there, look, is a railway line that's going to the Gibbon Sanctuary, the Hulog Gibbon Sanctuary. And since these gibbons and other primates living here, they're mostly arboreal in nature. You can see the bridges, you know, being made for them. These are net, netting bridges and there's an iron bridge behind them. So these are so that these primates can cross through. So these are called mitigation measures. Uh, they are uh, made across this linear infrastructure. That's a railway line so that these gibbons can pass through from one part of the sanctuary to another. But the best is, of course, to avoid the existence of such linear infrastructure. Surrounding tea estates further isolate the sanctuary. There are also plans for oil exploration, which could worsen habitat loss. Conservation groups, 
forest departments, and NGOs are working to restore forest corridors, reconnect habitats, and engage communities. Local participation is key, and awareness programs are fostering support for gibbon conservation. Saving the gibbon means saving forests. And forests aren't optional, they're essential. The western gulag gibbon needs tall trees to survive because it's a highly arboreal species. But in the only sanctuary dedicated to it, the Holongpa Gibbon Sanctuary, there are numerous threads like tea gardens coming up all around it, the railway track running through it, uh, then future thread of oil drilling as well. Not only the sanctuary, other places where this gibbon is found also suffers from a multitude of threads. Hence, the future of India's only ape is at threat and urgent action is needed to protect the species. The Western Hulok Gibbon is listed in Schedule 1 of the Wildlife Protection Act, 1972, and Appendix 1 of CITES, which bans international trade. But enforcement remains weak, especially in remote areas. The Gibbon's survival depends on restoring forests, enforcing anti-poaching laws, and deepening public awareness. More than an endangered species, this ape is a symbol of a vanishing world, its call, a last echo in the treetops. Protecting the gibbon means protecting Northeast India's forests and the countless species and communities they support. India has just one ape. It doesn't beat its chest. It sings. And right now, it's calling for help. The Western Hulok gibbon isn't just a species, it's a symbol. Its survival is bound to the fate of the forests we all depend on.